Hi guys, it's about 5 a.m. We're leaving Rome. For some reason, we thought it would be cold to catch the train this early. I don't know why. So today we were leaving Rome and I didn't sleep at all this night because I stayed up all night packing. We were in Rome for several days, so I had a lot of stuff with me and I unpacked a lot of it to do the traveling and sightseeing in Rome and so I needed several hours to pack. And I didn't do any packing leading up to this day we were going to Florence. And we were leaving at 4 a.m. to catch a train around 5.30 a.m. I think. So I literally had to stay up all night. That was a really bad decision. So around 4 a.m. I jump in the shower and I hear uh, Roxy, Nikki, and Mark waking up and uh, them shuffling all their luggage to the front door and I get out and I felt okay leaving. Like I felt wide enough awake to leave the house. <laughs> but once we got to the train station the situation started to unravel because we were expecting the train to meet us here at the station at this time, but it was locked for some reason. So we couldn't get through the gate to get to the train that was gonna take us to the main train that was taking us to Florence. What's happening, Roxy? I need to find the, the, the number. What are you doing, Mark? Eating breakfast. And what is breakfast in Italy? This is leftover from two nights ago. And it's pizza. Pizza. We're calling a taxi. Yeah. So we called a taxi. It picked us up, took us to the main train station where we were catching the Florence train. Hopped on the train. I attempted to sleep. I slept maybe an hour. It was like a two and a half hour train ride. And I was beyond exhausted. I was a little cranky, but not as cranky as I was once we arrived in Florence. We caught the train, uh, slept a little bit, and we kind of found the hotel. The addresses are crazy in Florence. So the plan was we were going to arrive in Florence and we were going to drop off all our stuff, take a nap, and then enjoy the rest of the day. However, when we arrived there, we discovered that all the addresses on these buildings were completely messed up. Because what they did when they built Florence, apparently, was they had these main buildings and then they added more buildings around them, so the addresses never changed. They just started adding letters to the uh, formatting. So it was like 200, 201, 201A, 201B, 201CC. It just got really ridiculous. And so we're looking for this one particular alley with our hotel bed and breakfast thing. And then we were just like constantly missing it. We went up and down this alleyway like three times while I'm dragging around about a hundred pounds worth of luggage, which I'll talk about in another episode because that was ridiculous. I was getting really frustrated with dragging that big piece of luggage over these little pebbles that they have in Italy. Uh, I don't know why they're so small. <laughs> and so like we, we walked up and down this alley trying to find this bed and breakfast and there was no signage. The addresses were all screwed up and I was just done. Like I couldn't anymore. I was, I just, I, I apologized to everybody and I was like, guys, I'm not moving anymore until somebody finds this bed and breakfast. I, so I glued myself to one area. Roxy and Nikki went off scavenging for this bed and breakfast. They found it after like 15 minutes. And then we uh, checked in and we took a nap. A very, very, very much needed nap. After climbing about seven flights of steps to our hotel room, I was dead. Oh my gosh. But we found the room, we took a nap, and after that, I woke up and I had a, a song in my head. I just woke up because I felt amazing. I just had this song, so I just like opened my eyes looked around for a second, grabbed the ukulele, and everyone was getting ready except me. And I started playing this song. Actually, I might have it on my phone. Do I? Let me see. Uh, ooh, I do. Nope, okay. Here we go. And 
and we couldn't stop singing it for the rest of the day. So we got ready, we headed downstairs, and uh, started to enjoy the rest of the city. What is this place? Santa Maria del Fiore, it's the Duomo, the most important church in Florence. So pretty! You won't see anything like this. This all white and green is only here. Really? Yeah. It stood out like right, and like it doesn't match anything else here. It's pretty yeah. cool. So as we were walking throughout the city of Florence, we saw all these different depictions of the character Pinocchio, like from the Disney movie, and that is because Pinocchio is actually an Italian uh, story and that was invented near the city of Florence in a small village. So we found this really cool little shop uh, dedicated to Pinocchio and uh, we took a few pictures with it. After doing some exploring, uh, we decided to stop for lunch and Roxy is vegan, so she lined up a couple really cool vegan restaurants and uh, this one had a lot of options to choose from. We're at a vegan restaurant and there's so many choices. But I'm gonna choose. I don't know what I'm getting. Look at the lasagna. She's getting the lasagna. Yeah, and I also want the gnocchi though. Mm, the gnocchi. I love it. I think I want to get something between this, which is like a wrap, and or this, which is lasagna like her, but I don't know. Because this also looks amazing. Okay. Uh, and I think it's spicy too. I don't know, man. We just had coffee. It was amazing. Uh, not Italian coffee, it was black coffee. It's a me. Which, Nikki's actually a barista in America. America. So she was very happy to feel like she had a piece of home here in Italy. It was very good. What was the place called? Most of it. Oh, um, Dita Artigianat. Wait, Ar Arti. Artigia... Artigianale. Good job. <laughs> That's so poor, please don't put that in. I'm sorry, what was this bridge called again? Ponte Vecchio. And we were just crossing Ponte Vecchio. So after lunch, we met up with one of Nikki's friends who was studying in uh, Florence at a local coffee shop that's served mostly American coffee. And uh, then we did a little bit exploring of the famous Ponte Vecchio, which is the oldest bridge in Florence. And there is all these different shops and uh, stands uh, with souvenirs and stuff that we got to check out. We were crossing the bridge and we spotted these dogs being trained. I think they're rescue dogs, but pretty cool how it's all set up. After a little more exploring, we found a restaurant to sit down and grab some dinner and uh, had a little bit too much fun with the glasses on the table. Wait, I can't do it. Yeah, try to make it the same speed all the way around. Shh! Stop it! This is me. Why can't you? Do it? I heard it. It's me! It's me! Can you hear it? Oh my gosh, it's me doing it! <laughs> I made it! I'm an artist. Everybody's like, I'm super annoyed. Stop it! <laughs> We've been talking about gelato. Uh, for several days leading up to that point. So we really wanted to cap off our day in this beautiful city by uh, grabbing some of that Italian ice cream, which was amazing. And uh, even though we were all exhausted, uh, I still wanted to do a little bit more exploring because we napped basically half the day away. So uh, Nikki and Mark went back to the hotel while Roxy and I went out to go look at some of the architecture and landscaping stuff that was all around, which was so beautiful. And uh, we stumbled onto something that was one of the best experiences I had of the entire trip. We found a walking choir in the middle of Florence. This was extremely unexpected and after a super emotional day, uh, starting from the exhaustion and frustration at the beginning to just relaxing and enjoying the city, um, it just, it was, out of this world. The singing, that was beautiful all in of its own, but plus how the acoustics sounded with these really old buildings and uh, being literally in the middle of it, 
it made me super emotional and I was literally holding back tears just thinking about how beautiful the day ended up going from a really bad situation to uh, one of the best nights of the entire tour so uh, that just gave me a little bit of hope for the rest of the trip and how easily something can go from super bad to super awesome. On that note, that's gonna do it for this episode. I would love to know what have been some of your best experiences when you've been out traveling or on vacation. Let me know in the comments down below. I post new episodes of Ocarina Road every Thursday, so if you don't wanna miss those, be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you get the notifications. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Until next Thursday, I hope you have a blessed week and I'll see you then.